now we have all these titles look like Muslim but when it comes to our relationship with our brothers and sisters we act like animals we don't practice the Sunnah and the good characteristics of the Prophet Muhammad and how important the ties are we went down to remind ourselves of the relationship that you cannot even with a general brother a general person you cannot stop talking to someone for three days Fallis to stop speaking to your uncle and your aunts and your dad and your mom and your brothers and your sisters and your blood ties etc how important it is because you see a lot of us we got this long beard and this hijab and this haji title but we got some animal we are like wolves in sheep clothing our attitude our mannerism our discipline is a lot to be desired but when we look at the life of the prophet muhammad we see how he dealt with people and how he lived and reminded ourselves and i'm just reminding myself and you because i'm trying to save time here of the, the man who came to the prophet sallallahu and said ya rasulullah sallallahu and if someone treats me bad and i treat him good or if i invite my relative and they don't invite me and i be nice to them and they're not nice to me should i then become even and stop doing what i'm doing stop being nice to them and prophet sallallahu said la no not at all because if you do that you will be guilty of cutting ties so we have learned in the sunnah we have learned in the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam how to deal with people and i know we don't have much a problem with reading salah and performing hajj and going fasting in ramadan but sometimes this is our problem i don't, I don't need to talk to you about juma and talk to myself about salah because you're all here for salah that's like preaching to the choir you already came here for Salah. What I'm going to tell you about the importance of coming for Juma. Most of you pray your Salah five times a day. You fast in Ramadan, whether it's for the good iftar in the evening or not, I don't know. But in the discipline and the akhlaq and the characteristics of the Prophet wasallam that he has taught us, a lot of us have failed in that. And that's why we have the shortcoming in Dawah. A lot of people get Islam. A lot of people are coming to the fold of Islam. But it's not by our nice, good Islamic attitude to them. It's because they have read the Quran and read the life of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because if they have to depend on us and how we deal with them, they probably would not come. Wallahu Alam, Allah knows best. So after speaking on those topics of family and relatives and everything, I wanted to come to this little word here, which got a lot of meaning in Surah Nur, chapter 24, verse 61. Sadiqikum. Subhanallah. And you know what? In the second khutbah, we'll get into that. Because if I start on that, we will probably forget the second khutbah. Allah, amongst the people, the uncles and the aunts and the relatives that he spoke about in going to their homes and you can eat and relate, etc. He tells us about Sadiqikum, your true friends. And the word Sadiq, it's not just the meaning of a friend because the Mufassirin have gone in detail to explain that when we speak of that word Sadiq we refer to a friend that is true sincere and honest and Allah did not just speak about any friend and anybody that we think is a friend that we should just go by their homes and have them come to your home but has referred to sincere friends and today inshallah bi iznillah i want to remind myself and remind you a little bit about that from the islamic the quranic sunnah perspective 
Because a lot of times we may be good. We may mean good. We may want to do good. But when we don't affiliate with the sincere friends, we get contaminated. We could get corrupted. And that could be a problem in our life. Wallahu alam. In the Quran, in chapter 5, verse 67, Allah tells the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim, Ya ayyuha Rasul, Ballig ma unzila ilayka mir rabbik, wa illam taf'al, fa ma balagta risalatuhu. Very deep. Allah tells the Prophet ﷺ to spread the message of the Quran. And he told the Prophet, and if you do not spread the message, you did not fulfill the mission of the messenger. So you and I are followers of the Prophet ﷺ. If we can afford one Quran, help us join in distributing the Quran. So if you can't afford one Quran, do it. $3, 10 Quran, $30, 100 Quran, $300. 